Hi, Gemini's. This is LT Tarot doing your um, August 2019 love reading. Now, I do have some new cards I'm going to use. They're just going to be little messages. They're probably going to be personal messages for you. Um, also, I like I have like I said, I have a new style of reading. Also, um, if you guys want to book a, a reading for eight dollars and fourteen cent, you can do that on my website. Cause you know that's my birthday special for you guys. So let's go ahead and get right into it. I don't want to keep you guys too long. I literally just got off work and just started. Let me do some some readings here. Some of you guys are my crystal childs, and y'all need to focus a little more. So some crystals will help you. Now on that one, that look like amethyst on that card. So maybe that's what you, you know, need to use for your crystal healings. Dream might. So it's also let me know that you're creating some stuff. Here, you are you're the creation. You got the cave, so I feel like you're in your little sanctuary. Um, maybe not getting out the house much, maybe just kind of like doing your own thing. So, let me show you guys my new way of reading my um, love cards. Or just reading, period. I like it, so let me show you. All right, give me some information for Gemini. This one wanted to come out. I've seen that card too, and then it wanted to come out again. with me one second you guys let me shuffle these up real quick take the rest of those cards okay so let's see what's going on with you guys are you guys even focused on love right now so i have some new beginnings coming for you guys but i'm seeing as new beginnings when it comes to love i mean to money um it also could be some um, new contracts that's going to be so maybe um you and your partner you guys are committing to each other um signing contracts with each other maybe signing a lease so um there's some new beginnings when it comes to that you could be dealing with sagittarius or leos or i mean aries or let's say aquarius um i see that you're really focused are you really motivational right now um i feel like you're really just kind of like whatever you you want to do you're just focusing on that and it was like you almost got a one track mind almost because you're kind of like I feel like your money is a little more important than a relationship for you right now I see that you just recently had some big changes in your life so it was a significant life change that happened something really big happened to you so if you didn't just have it you're just like it happened in your recent past or right now or about to happen you do within the next six weeks you do have the world that's coming in so that just means that there's a t uh, time of a positive change uh i mean i'm sorry the will i said the world so things are starting to move for you 
So things are starting to move forward for you. So, and this is also let me know whatever you want is on your side. Fortune's on your side. A relationship is on your side. If you, you know, everything is going to work out in your favor. Now, this is what your outcomes are. Now, here's the storytelling. Because this is what's going to happen. So you have the five of air. And so you feel like you uh, you feel like you gotta review everybody's motive. So because of that life experience that just happened, you feel like you kind of have to review everybody's motive. Um, you trying to like maybe something happened in your recent past um, where you kind of like trying to learn from you know from a situation. So this situation will happen in the future. It is telling me that your ego isn't in, uh, in play right now. So you're kind of working on your lower self because you're working from your ego. So you're gonna have to let go of your ego. Like you're kind of giving yourself this false sense of entrapment, and it's kind of like your 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 thoughts are kind of like a um, negative and fear based thoughts. So you have to really work on that. Um, it just says right here being overly focused on material things. It may be why you're working so hard because you're trying to get something or purchase something. Gemini's, you do need some balance in your life. It can't be all or nothing. You can't put all your eggs in one basket. So you need to find a way to balance that. Or balance yourself here there is a point where you're going to feel renewal so i see again that you're reviewing and reevaluating things um you're moving in a new direction that's why you have this will but since you're moving in this new direction it's definitely going to give you some positive change in your life you also have the lover's card so the lover's card is a soulmate so you're definitely dealing with a soulmate or a soulmate energy is about to come into your life so um, I see that you're about to be really happy and you're definitely dealing with your soulmate or with a soulmate. With the, your soulmate or with a soulmate, I said the same thing. I meant you're dealing with your soulmate or a twin flame. You also have the Ace of Fire here. So there's some more new beginnings. So you got something that's, out, uh, that's about to change your life. It could be this relationship. You could be meeting this person at work because I do see that you do have a new opportunity, a, um, a new career. You have some type of career advancement that just came through. Um, I also see that you guys need to continue. Uh, you guys need kind of like heal from your past. You need to let go of your ex. So I feel like you're holding on to your ex emotionally here. I see this new person that's coming in. You're going to have a lot of passion with this person great sex that's what that means <laughs> great sex um retreating i see that um you know going within you know hiding from the world with your lover you're kind of like or maybe going on an actual uh retreat with somebody but you're definitely disconnecting from the world um it's also telling me that you deserve love so maybe you question the fact that if you're lovable or not and you are so let this person come in and love you. If this person has not, or this is not how you're feeling right now, but this is how you're going to be feeling very soon. Like within the next six weeks, there's going to be a lot of change in your life. So very soon you're going to know what you want. And very soon you're going to, this person is going to be revealed to you or the situation is going to be revealed. And I see that you're letting your friends help you this time around. You're letting people know what's going on. You're not trying to handle this on your own. So you definitely letting your friends help. So let's pull some, um, Romance card. I mean, not romance cards. Let's pull some angel cards and see what messages we have here. Yeah. So let's mix these up and then I'm going to pull some cards here. So this is telling me that you need to take back your power. It says, use your God-given power and intention to manifest blessings in your life. So you basically manifest, I've been telling you guys, you um, all year long that you guys have the ability to manifest anything you wanted this year. You just have to be able to do it and you have to get away from um, negative stuff. This one also said patience. So this is, says your dreams are bl um, blooming more rapidly than you realize still. They need nurturing and patience. And you need to be patient with yourself as well. Passion. So this is going to be a very passionate relationship. So um, 
It says, trust and follow your renewed passion in your love, love life and career. So definitely let me know that you have a lot of passion coming through. So you actually, and then you also are overcoming some difficulties. So you've had issues in the past and now you're overcoming those situations. It says the worst is now behind you and you're surmounting any previous challenge. Let's see. And the last card is peace. And it says peace comes from remembering that only love is real. So you just have to remember that and you're, uh, you know, with your love life. Um, so yeah, this is a very passionate relationship that's coming your way. So I'm happy for you guys. You know, do your thing. But anyway, go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe, you guys. And I'll see you guys next month, I think.